Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. And in today's video, we are going to start a new software that is known as the Adobe Illustrator. Now the question comes, what is Adobe Illustrator? So Adobe Illustrator is a software that is a part of the Adobe Creative Cloud Committee and it is used to draw the vector graphics. Now these vector graphics can be applied in a variety of formats like the icons, logos, posters, banners, etc. So whatever basic art that you need to draw using computers can be drawn with the help of Adobe Illustrator and whatever the drawings that we get through it are known as vectors. So this is the video in which we are going to introduce some of the basic and important features which will help you get started with Adobe Illustrator. So let's start on this tutorial. First of all, whenever you open your Adobe Illustrator, you will find this kind of a screen in front of you, which is basically asking you to create a new document. Now from here, you can just uh, choose the different kinds of templates. Like it provides you some uh, mobile presets. Then there are some of the web options, which is uh, basically depicting a web page dimensions some print options which are a letter size paper and a4 paper legal paper etc film and video options like hdtv uh, in 720 in 1080 width and so on uh, then there are art and illustration option like a postcard or a poster so if you want to just follow any of these things you can select any of the preset from here Apart from that, uh, there are also some of the templates available. So if you want, you can just select uh, some of these templates as well. Here you can see a bunch of templates artboard. So what I have done is um, I have taken a custom width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels as well. From here, you can just uh, select your points. From here, you can just choose your height and width options, the orientation and the number of the artboards that you require. Also, you can just change the bleed options from here. Like if you can just increase it to a one pixel or a zero pixel and so on. Then when you are happy with it, just click on create. And as soon as you do that, you will find that um, this is your artboard that has been created. And uh, you can just zoom in and out of it by simply pressing the control and the minus key on your keyboard like this. And you can just also zoom in by control plus. So that's what it works like. Zoom in and zoom out repeatedly. Just like this. When you just get your artboard, you will find that um, here is the tool panel. Here is the menu bar. And um, this is your current working area with the zoom percentage being set over here. And from here, you can just uh, navigate to your artboards, which is an artboard navigation menu. Since we have only one artboard, so we can just not use this option as of now. You can also navigate with these scroll bars over here. And here are some of the properties that depict the particular selection. Now, if we just go to the file, here are some of the basic options whose usage we will see in detail in the upcoming tutorials. Then there are edit options whose usage will be depicted in detail uh, as we move on with our tutorials. The important thing to note here is in window, you will find an option called workspace. Now there are these certain options that you can just choose from. At present essentials in being selected. So if I just select this automation, then as soon as I do that, you can see that my layout of the screen changed and this is exactly what the workspace do it just changes the layout so that you can just select the layout as per your wish or as per your current requirement now what i'm going to do is just select this essentials back and this is what i'm happy with and i usually work on this only but you can choose the workspace that suits your interests the best Apart from this, this window menu can also be used to add these kind of uh, things. Like if you want to align this, you can just click on it and you will see this align tab, uh, which comes with a collection of a transform tab, a pathfinder tab as well. 
and if you want you can just close it as well uh, you can also just click on appearance and this appearance tab will be here you can just navigate it to any place else you can minimize it maximize it as per your choice now if we just go to view here are uh, some of the basic options that we get like um, we can zoom in we can zoom out which is definitely more handy with the shortcut keys you can fit artboard to the window that means your artboard would be aligned in your perfect view area you can fit all in window that means if there are multiple artboards then only it would work apart from that you can just hide the edges you can show the edges uh, you can hide the artboard like this so it won't be visible uh, that gray area you used to see is not visible you can just show this outboard like this now uh, if you want you can just add some of the rulers here like you can show these rulers so from here it would be able to help you to measure anything you can also um, show a transparency grid like this you can hide this transparency grid you can also add some of the guides like this um, you can draw these guides from the rulers and once you have drawn the guides if you want to lock them you can just go to view guides and lock the guides so these would be locked and if you want to change them you can just unlock the guides from here you can just change its position like this and uh, if you want to clear these guides you can just click on clear guides like this all right and uh, this smart guides option that is turned on is um, is used to tell you the distance between two things like uh, if i draw this rectangle you can see that this pink line that is scaling on its diagonal it is a kind of a smart guide now if i just uh, leave it here and try and draw another rectangle from here so you can see another line that is connecting the center of this rectangle it is also a result of a smart guide now if we just uh, go to view again you can also uh, show the grids which will again help you in adding or creating your illustrations over here and uh, then it is the effects menu from effects you can just add these different effects now this shape is selected so you can just make it a 3d okay now you can see that uh, as soon as this preview is turned on uh, so this shape turned into a 3d shape and we can manipulate these uh, values from here and just uh, take a look at it right now and that's how all these effects could be applied to this particular shape uh, these are the different effects that could be applied easily if you want for a selection tool you can just go to select uh, all the shapes that are active on the artboard would be selected and these kind of selections then it's the case of type which um, is basically used to uh, set the fonts uh, in text uh, whenever we are typing the text and we want to set the fonts then we can set the fonts from here we can just choose our recent fonts we can change its size and so on then there is an object uh, menu which basically works on the object and helps to navigate it to manipulate it in a better fashion now one important uh, usage of it is that if i just draw i have got these two rectangles now and if i just select both of them okay now i have selected both of these rectangles i can go to object and select on group then these two would be grouped together and moved simultaneously similarly i can go to object and ungroup them i can lock them so that they won't be moving anywhere and i can unlock it i can hide it i can unhide it or show it and these are the kinds of the things that we can do with object but still its detailed explanation would be explored in the upcoming tutorials and that's the same with edit and file as well now if we just um, come on to our toolbar then uh, first of all we have got a selection tool uh, which is obviously used to select these things then we have got this direct selection tool which is used to select a particular point of coordinate now if we can just um, 
come back to this particular shape you can see that i have picked up this single vertices of this particular rectangle using the selection tool so that's what it works is all right now if i just go back to my selection tool and try to select the single vertices no that's not possible that's the work of the direct selection tool then we have the pen tool uh, that is just used to make these random shapes like this and then we have this curve tool that is used to make a curvy kind of a thing a curved lines whenever you want to make them you can just use this curve tool so that's the kind of a circle that i've made now then there is a type tool from here you can just enter any text suppose i have written okay so i have written programming knowledge and as soon as i do that you can see here that this text panel has been opened from here i can just change this font family i can change its size and all right now then there is a line tool that is uh, basically used to create a line like this another line like this now while this line tool is selected uh, you can just uh, select these three kind of fills for this line which is a solid color fill, a gradient fill or a none. So I'm selecting this solid color fill. And from here you can even change its color. This is the color palette. So I have chosen this blue color. And as soon as I do that and yes, so this is um, selected like this. Same thing is with the shape. That is we can select a solid color, a gradient or a no fill. And as the stroke is concerned, we can uh, select these three things in the stroke as well. So if you want, you can just keep a gradient for a stroke as well. Then uh, using this rectangle tool, you can just draw a rectangle uh, or you can just click on this uh, small arrow kind of thing over here. And these are the different kinds of shape tools which you can select from. And if you want, you can just convert it to a tab like this as well to just grab onto any of the tools like this. The work of the rotate tool is uh, suppose I have selected this shape and grab onto this rotate tool, then this point of rotation is set by default. If I want, I can just change this point of rotation. Uh, so I have kept this rotation point over here. Now, if I just rotate my tool, uh, my shape, so this shape would be rotated about that axis now we have a scale tool using which we can scale up or down our object with reference to its axis or the point where um, its center is lying and if we just put it on a center then it would be done like this this similar effect could be achieved by just grabbing on the selection tool and pressing on the shift key like this then um, all these tools we have this is a color picker tool that is used to pick a particular color since i clicked on this so it has no stroke that's why the stroke of this particular shape that was selected has been removed all right so this is a hand tool which can be used to navigate here and there and works best when we have zoomed in into our artboard like this using this magnify tool so that is all in our introduction of Adobe Illustrator and I hope you all have enjoyed it. Till then, goodbye.